you log into the system from your web browser at nhs.attendanywhere.com. What you see on the waiting area screen depends on the roles you've been assigned. A standard service administrator, also known as waiting area administrator, will see the page as is. If in addition to your admin role, you also have the role of service provider, you'll see this layout instead. The only difference is additional settings to allow you to join calls with your camera or microphone on or off. Those settings can be changed while in your call and most start calls with both on. On the right hand side, you'll see information about your waiting area, including the hours it's available, the URL to give to patients, and the additional information specific to your waiting area displayed at the bottom of the patient information leaflet, which you can also download from this page. At the bottom is the support contact for staff. As an administrator, you can change these and other settings. Suspending waiting area access is little used. It stops patients from entering your waiting area. When they follow the URL for patients, instead of a start video call button, they see a service unavailable one. Manage users allows you to add others to your waiting area. The service provider role is required for a user to join patients. If your new user is not already on the platform, an email will be generated inviting them to create a login. This can be resent or cancelled. An existing user is immediately granted the role you assign. Reporting tags must be set, but that can only be done by an organisation administrator. The general information setting is where you'd rename your waiting area or edit the description. If no description is present, it must be added before you can change the name. The support contact for staff should be somebody local and familiar with the platform. This is often one of your organisational administrators. The information for callers setting allows you to add customised advice to the bottom of your patient leaflet, which can then be downloaded and sent to your patients. If your org unit has a logo, your waiting area will inherit it. Your patients see this on their call screen. If you wish to add one here, following the recommended size is crucial. By default, your waiting area is always available for patients to enter. You can restrict the hours here if you wish. The waiting area entry point setting is where you define the short URL for your waiting area and whether your patients receive that in a patient information leaflet or the URL of a page on a website which features a start call button. It is possible to create a combo button allowing your patients to choose the waiting area to enter from a drop-down menu. It's fairly rare, but should you use such a button and want to stop your waiting area appearing in that menu, you'd untick the lower box. Before Calls specifies which details a patient must provide before they can join a call. These are the details a service provider sees for the patient in their call queue. Before Calls Please Read Text is the message a patient will see after their equipment tests just before they begin their call. The default can be seen and edited here. The During Calls setting allows you to edit the on-screen message a patient will see when they enter the waiting area, as seen in the screenshot below. In addition, you can change the time a patient waits before they see the message. You can set whether or not a patient sees where they are in the call queue. You can also change the maximum bandwidth settings for calls to your waiting area. The default is shown, but this can be lowered should your network connection be poor. Although there are higher bandwidth settings available, these should not be used. The after call setting is used to direct what web page a user goes to at the end of their call. 
This should be set to different web pages based on their identity. In most cases, the service provider address should be left blank. Other participants should go to a survey link provided by the NHS Scotland National Video Conferencing Service and ending in the same last four digits as your Waiting Areas Management URL. Delete Waiting Area allows you to do just that. In addition to the settings, and available to all Waiting Area users, is the Help button at the top right of the window. It provides easy access to the Comprehensive Resource Centre, as well as some quick start posters, such as one on the call screen. When you're finished with the Waiting Area, the Sign Out button is also at the top right hand side.